Thinking for yourself is a radical act. Our real survival depends on us thinking for ourselves. So often in life, I've thought through the beliefs of other people. Oh, don't worry. It's woo, woo. Bicycle tune anyway. But so often I've thought through a set of beliefs like this. I've looked at life like that. Instead of being able to let go of those limiting beliefs. Anybody here have limiting beliefs? Any examples? Not thinking good enough. Like go, go very far. Right? Not good enough? Oh, right. I'm not supposed to sport. Sport. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I see. Move. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. But now I am. Ah, <laughs> great. Anybody else have limiting beliefs around sexuality, God, whoever that is? I don't deserve love. I don't deserve love. Sean? I am not enough. I'm not enough. Anybody resonate with that one? I'm not enough. You know, there's a lovely affirmation. I am good enough. I, re I remember meeting on the bookshelf. I had this vision. I wrote a book called Love the Miracle You Are. And I wanted it to be next to the book called Feel Your Fear and Do It Anyway by Susan Jeffers. She died about five years ago. And one day I went into a bookshop and there it was, right next. <laughs> so, you know that Ted was talking about vision yesterday? You vision? The trouble is so often we vision what we don't want. Because this is going so fast. It slows down the beautiful, authentic positivity that we can really think about ourselves. You know, today I saw Wendy dancing. And, if you don't mind, Wendy, you came in. And then, gradually, as the music came into you, it was like there was such a big smile, a big love that came from you. And that's why I think, you know, if we can love the miracle of love that's deep inside us, that was there, and rid ourselves of the barriers. Let's list those barriers. I bet you know them off by heart. Oh, that's me, by the way, at nine months. Yeah. I didn't have a Buddhist patch on my head then. I had lots of hair. Now, I'll just come back to that. Oh, yes, I want to say here, it is not selfish to love you. I really want you to take that away with you. Because if I don't love me, how can I love you? And if you don't love you, how can you love me? You've probably heard that a thousand times. But there's real experiential need to really experience love of yourself. And all I can say is, that the more awareness of the blockages in me, and the biggest blocks, is fear. Yeah. 